All right, welcome to this demonstration of exercise three from the isometric presentation. We're gonna shift gears a little bit this time and do water lines. So I'm gonna use two different colors. It's not a bad idea when you're drawing to have colored pencils, especially if you're dealing a lot with commercial plans. Coloring the lines, coloring what you see can make all the difference on visually how quickly you can interpret the plan. So I'm gonna use some colors. We're gonna draw out the cold water first and then I'll go back through and add in the hots coming to all the fixtures in this master bathroom. So here we go. Coming from below, I'm gonna start with this cold water line. All right, so this cold water line is gonna come from below. We'll just give it a vertical riser here. Then it's gonna come in to the floor joists and come run across the room until we get close to the toilet. We'll, we'll run all the way out here to the toilet at the end. It's gonna jog off to the left and then up to the toilet. Here we go. Before it gets to the toilet, it branches off and runs over to the tub. So we'll come out here and then we're gonna rise up for that. A reminder that even in drawing, we always want to put hot on the left, cold on the right, so that it doesn't get confused. Now back here before we came to the tub, there was a branch that goes over and comes up into the cabinet for the lav. There's two lavs, so we'll have two of those coming over and up. And let's assume these are coming up through the bottom of a cabinet. We're just running PEX lines in the joists. So we have the lavs done here. Then I need to branch off and come over for the shower. So there was a shower. Now again, going from the inside of the shower, my cold needs to be on the right side. I'm gonna come up about four feet. I'm trying to scale this a little bit. And then there's the other shower. The other shower branches off a ways back. And comes up into the wall. We got about four feet. Okay. So I have my cold water lines in place. They're going to all of the fixtures. Let's change color and go to hot. So I'm gonna get a red. And once again, I'm gonna have a riser from down below. That hot is gonna come into the floor joists, running along parallel. Let's come out to here. To branch off and come over to this tub. Hot's on the left, so it'll come up right there. Now that's when I'm sitting in the tub. I should see hot on the left. And for the lav, right, so the lav's gonna come up right here. And I'm branching over and crossing that one. Well, my lines aren't perfectly straight, they cross a little bit, but you get the idea. Okay, so here's another lab coming up in the cabinet. Branching off of there. Now for my hot water side, again I've got this going to my shower valve, so it's got to come down. And then connect over to my hots. And finally, one other for the shower. Coming out of that direction. And there we have it, connections for each of the fixtures. One last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a shower riser up off the top of these. It's gonna come into the shower. Obviously that doesn't have to be cold or hot pipe, but because it's generally a mix, it's gonna come into the showers like that. So there you have exercise three. I've demonstrated how to draw isometrically water lines coming up. These could be PEX lines, they could be copper lines, they could be whatever. But this way I can illustrate what needs to be done. Now these might run in slightly different locations, but visually I get the idea of, okay, for the cold I need this many T's, this many branches coming off. Same with the hot. And it gives a very clear understanding of what needs to happen. 
practice this for yourself. Maybe try to draw these from a different angle. Just turn it and draw the same thing and you will definitely become an isometric expert.